Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Matt Schultz from another Nintendo podcast, and I am here in my Animal Crossing town. Um, I thought that, uh, I don't know, I've poured almost 500 hours into this game, and you've probably seen a lot of town, um, you know, tours on the internet. Uh, and they're all advertising, oh, my five-star town, check this out. Well, these are people, I feel like, who, who just, I don't know. It seems like they've either time-traveled or they've just, what they've done to their towns are amazing. But I'm here to show you what used to be a five-star town, which has regressed to a four-star town. But uh, I have not time-traveled. I've played this game since March 20th when it came out every single day. Um, and... All the items I have, for the most part, I've either gotten from this particular game, have traded with friends, but I have not gone out of my way to like purchase anything or, um, you know, like finagle my way to different types of items. I have played the turnip market, as you all know, pretty, pretty heavily. Um, but even with that, like all that, all that's done has gotten me a lot of bells. But um, I still feel like what you're about to see in my town is is just kind of like a typical town. Um, and I'm excited to show it off to you. So this is my uh, house first. I'm in the top floor. I've paid off my house completely. Again, thank you to the turnip market. Um, and I've, you know, redecorated a few times. So I'm trying to go with a, like, wooden, you know, the, the wooden furniture theme up here. And I've kind of customized everything to the dark furniture. I've got, like, a little TV area, a desk. I feel like this is not too different from what my graduate school apartment looked like. Um, it's very small. I just need like a tiny bathroom, maybe like right here. Um, and over on this side, I'm trying to do kind of like the wooden like thing um, with the the um, you know the the, like, the cabin furniture. Um, and to me, I like this like you know this particular blue and red pattern. I think it's really cool looking. Now you can decorate this with different patterns, put your own patterns up, but I really like that. Um, and I love the cityscape wall. Coelacanth model. I tried very hard to make sure I could catch coelacanths uh, so I could create that model thinking it was going to be able to put it up on the wall. And then when I got it, I was slightly disappointed that it could not show up uh, as like a mounted thing rather than just kind of like it's this is much smaller than what the coelacanth looks like when you pull it out of the water. But anyways, here we are at nine in the morning um, on a Saturday. Let's uh, let's go downstairs. All right, so um, like I said, uh, I was going with the kind of the wooden furniture upstairs. I've, I've always loved the antique furniture set. I feel like they've really done a lot of great job updating the furniture's looks um, in this particular game. Um, and, and in the past, I've always tried to pair it with certain things like the bookshelves. You know, I always like that kind of like old, like musty library look. Um, and this is kind of this, the this center of my, my house, uh, which I want to be kind of a loungy area. Like I do have the antique bed, but I don't like putting the, a bed in the room you walk right into. I just think that's, I don't know. I want this to be kind of like a very chill, relaxed area that still kind of comes together aesthetically. I do like the green walls. Um, I'm probably gonna go with some like candle lighting in here. Um, but right now this is what I've got. Um, but this is not my most like favorite room. Uh, let's go into the kitchen. Um, I feel like a lot of people are going with the, you know, uh, Ironwood kitchen series, which I mean, or I mean like furniture series, cause it just plays so well into the kitchen. I mean, it just, it just looks awesome. I've seen people do some really cool different things with it. Try to change up the, the, the color scheme and match everything. Like there's definitely a lot of really cool stuff people are doing. Um, but right now this is kind of my simple kitchen. I don't have all the ironwood furniture, um, but I feel like I have enough to make this uh, a pretty nice, uh, you know, uncluttered room. Um, I just got this double fridge. I used to have the red fridge, which I like a lot because I feel like, you know, it, it gives you the opportunity to like decorate it a little bit better. Um, and I, you can see right here, I had done it and I like put some, you know, little magnets and things on there. I thought that like looked more homey, but in the grand scheme of things, when I got this bigger fridge, I liked it um, a little more. One thing I do appreciate about this particular fridge is um, you can place things on top of it, like these samurai shoes. 
Um, and I used to put some like plants up there and that was a kind of a nice touch. This one is too high. It will not let you do that. Um, so it's kind of a trade-off. Um, again, it's just, it's all aesthetics in the game. Everything's got to look nice and what you want it to look like is completely up to you. So, um, put the fruit basket together. I've made a lot of fruit baskets and given them to my villagers, um, which has been nice. So, now we're going to leave my kitchen and we're going to walk over onto um, kind of the main room again um, and into the guest room. So, let's see here. Uh, the guest room, I definitely have to have a theme and that theme is Imperial. So, as you can see, I've, I don't know, I've, I've, it's, it's been really hard to kind of try to collect all the furniture for things. So again, I've, I've been collecting things. Uh, just day by day, I haven't really tried to like go out of my way to find items or trade with people online. Like these are things that I've just been able to find, or within my small like circle of Animal Crossing friends. Um, so you know, I've got the low end table and the shelf and the bed, the partition, I think the the dresser, nightstand. I don't know what they call that. Uh, and then of course the imperial, uh, like I guess like table over here. <laughs> um, and yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's really come together. Uh, I'll, I'll try to find all the other items, uh, hopefully at some point. But let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them, plus these seven being the Imperial Wall. Um, I've got the Tammy Matt flooring. Um, and I, I like this like white, like gold trim wooden flooring. I think it goes well. I, I haven't been able to find the Imperial flooring yet. But yeah, this is the, the guest room. Um, you know, who knows? It may change. I don't know, I, I kind of love all of the, um, the kind of the, the Eastern uh, influenced items um, in terms of, you know, just, I just like that aesthetic a lot. So, all right, this next room was the first room I created. This is kind of the garage. This, this immediately reminded me of my childhood. And of course, this game is all about DIY and they give you the, the you know, DIY bench here, um, you know, and for me, I, I decided to paint it blue because I thought it matched the little toolkit here. Um, but welcome to, well, basically reminds me of my childhood garage. You know, I remember walking in, you know, you know, my dad had his workbench and, you know, shelf, and he always had the radio kind of blasting in, on a Saturday morning as he got up early to do some yard work and would get us out of bed to, to come help him. Um, but, uh, yeah, we had, you know, just always like, there's just random stuff like bikes and records and you know old items that either my parents had from when they were first married that were kind of stored away you know, the vacuum cleaner for the house the old treadmill um so i don't know it's kind of just became um a way for me to i don't know just like decorate a, a moment of of my childhood and, and i don't know i always had fond memories uh my older brother played hockey and this utility sink is like the same. This is like the same one we had in our in our garage, and it had a lot of dents in it because my older brother would, sla you know, slap hockey pucks at it as you played hockey, um, and he'd miss. And when he missed, it would dink up everything in the in the garage. Um, not make our parents too happy, but yeah, I really like that space. Um, I'm not sure if I'll change it for now. It, it's it's perfect for me. Um, all right, so let's get into the basement, the final room. This is obviously kind of like the gaming lounge like setup. Um, I tried to make it look like pretty fancy. I didn't want the like. I think there are certain wallpapers that look good with with no windows, and this is definitely one of them. Um, this kind of like green, like mold, wooded, like molding wall with the. The, um, I don't know, the hardwood aesthetic looked really nice. Uh, this is our A&P setup over here. It used to be upstairs and it did look really nice with everything uh, with, the, with the skyline background, but I think it looks good down here. I wanted to keep that space up there kind of just for me, but down here, I think adding the like canvas paintings for the A&P logos was, I think it looks pretty good. Um, we have the coffee mug and of course our show notes and uh, you know, I got the mics and the desk set up. And, you know, this is pretty much what it looks like. I've got my like laptop here with the mic. 
Definitely don't have a major recording system like that, but that's what I imagine it could look like. Um, you know, I got the Animal Crossing edition of the Switch set up down here and you know, a couple arcade games, the pool table. I definitely want to, I got the corner piece of this couch. I want to kind of extend it, you know, to get the, the rest of the pieces to make a nice like L-shaped couch. But um, again, I'm, I still haven't been able to find items. I just, I've, sometimes I'll find items and they're the same items every time. Um, and I'm like, I already have that, I already have that, but um, yeah, so let's start to explore my four-star town. Now, it is four stars. It definitely was five stars, as you can see by the, um, uh, the I forget what they're called, the, the like bell-shaped flowers I have, the lily of the valley, I think, um, and then my tortoise. <laughs> Um, so it's it's proof that I have five stars. These have grown in my town before, but um, the reason I don't is because I have placed items all over the ground now and created a swap meet area. Anyway, so this is my house. Um, I do like this aesthetic a lot. I like the 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 door uh, connected with this cottage look. I really do wish the game would come up with some more facades. I know there's like four or five schemes of like door types and facade types and roof types, but I really wish you could then decorate what those look like, you know, like actually customize those colors or if the, I was, I'm hoping there's more in the future, but I really like what this house looks like right now. Um, and I didn't try to create this massive yard. I know I've seen a lot on YouTube or even just in my friends have created huge spaces of their island are dedicated just to their home and property. And though I wanted to, you know, show off that I am the entrepreneurial human being on this island. Um, and I've been very successful in the turnip game. I, I didn't want to take up too much space on the, on the island. So here's my little slice of paradise. Put my mailbox out front here. And now let's just get into the neighborhood. I'll show you the, the map here. Um, so here is Los Buffalo. My partner is from Buffalo. I'm from Los Angeles originally. So voila, Los Buffalo. Um, and as you can see, I kind of try to create like a neighborhood area. And this was really before I, I mean, not trying to be a AC hipster. I have been playing the game for a long time in terms of um, hours on this game. And of course the franchise and it's long over the course of the last decade. But um, I've always wanted to put like a neighborhood together. And I thought how cool is it that it gives me the option to plant, you know, the actual like floor plants for all these things to, to, to play somewhere you want. So right off the bat, there was this little mountainous area over here in the southeastern part of the island. And I started to kind of build homes around it. And I kind of wish I would have put them kind of more straight on, but I don't know, I like it. I like that the, the homes are kind of hugging the the mountain there. And then the, the ones by the beach, I kind of lined up more in a row. And then I had to drop two more up top. But I, I really like the neighborhood and uh, I'll go show it off. Um, yeah, I've got uh, one of my villagers lives right over here to the right is a um, ostrich. Um, and then I actually have two of them, or a peacock, two peacocks. And then I've got the boar who lives next door. This is the uh, community pool area for Los Buffalo. It's free, open to everybody. Um, and I've got this these little parks. I tried to put little parks with flowers well, in uh, kind of every nook of my uh, town and they're not always going to be there but for now I feel like they they look pretty nice so welcome to the main plaza of the neighborhood um, this is uh, this is another ostrich here I love this house aesthetic they have a great backyard you know if you come back here they've got trash can their laundry and they got this little you know wooden uh, lounge chair um, and then this guy's got more of a long, this is Zucker. Yeah, yeah, he's right over here. Um, so, Zucker, Zucker's so cool. I mean, I know he's modeled after kind of a, a, a type of food in Japan. I, I, I don't know off the top of my head, but I love that Nintendo does that. His, his character and his aesthetic are so cool. And I know he's kind of been listed as a top tier character, but that stuff doesn't matter to me. I just think he's, it's cool to have them. Oh, bottle. Nice. Let's uh, pick that up. Um, all right, moving on. This is uh, Hamphrey. Uh, Hamphrey is a creepy little hamster. I try not to talk to him much. I'm okay with him leaving. I do love this house aesthetic, though. This is Walker. He's one of the first uh, pups I met. 
There he is right there. And he lives uh, in that brick area. So you can see I put like different fencing around each house. This is Lobo, the wolf. Um, super cool. Got He's got like a, a cabin -y aesthetic in there. So I put the, the that fencing around his. And this is Coach, one of my first characters. He, um, I don't know, it's, he's the, the, the holdout for my characters. I tried to give him the, um, uh, what do you call it? Just kind of the, the beach aesthetic around his house. You know, he's doing his laundry, he's right by the river. Um, and the yellow kind of matched the tiki fence. So I thought that would be cool. Let's go over to the beach here. Um, oh, there's one of my peacock characters. Um, so I kind of found this pattern to create a dock. I haven't put much on the dock yet. I would really like to see the game give you the opportunity to expand the dock. You know, like, I want to make the dock, I don't know, just have a bigger floor plan so that I, I just can see people having a lot of fun with placing items up here. Obviously, you can place items here now. I haven't done much yet, yet but I don't know. Just think how cool it would be to kind of create your own pier. Um, you know, in Chicago now, we have Navy Pier and growing up, um, California, just uh, it was cool to you know, see Santa Monica Pier and to put like little attractions out there. And I would love to see that open up more in the game. But that was the beach. Uh, let's go into the more commercial side of town. And voila, we're over the bridge. Here we are. Another little park in the corner. Again, there, I feel like if you're looking for like things to do, like to fill up your town, plant some hedges, throw some flowers down, put a bench in, boom, you got a park. Uh, but over here on this part of the beach uh, is what I'm hoping to kind of create is like a little outdoor, like seafood, like restaurant area, lounge area. Maybe I'll put some like of those uh, coconut cocktails that you see. Um, but yeah, I found this pattern. I think it looks really cool. Um, thought it fit nicely over here, right in front of this little plaza uh, with the anchor. Um, I just dropped this ping pong table here for now. Uh, I love if you imagine the animal animals coming over here to challenge each other, but I don't know, that's the thing about this game. I really wish you could play certain things, a la the GameCube uh, version of Animal Crossing with the NES games. I just wish you could just like click A and jump into like a fun little ping pong mini game, or or if they gave like a soccer ball some physics and you could like kick around a soccer ball with friends with those nets. Um, I don't know. I, I just make things a little more fun, but alas, here it is. It's sitting here, and it looks cool. Uh, moving on, again, little little parks. There's the town plaza. KK is here. Another, this is the first park I built, uh, but I wanted to kind of just take you from the front of, you know, at the start of the town, Dodo Airport. Here we go. There's the museum right off the bat, right down the, the road there, and then I built this little area to kind of make it look like something's going to be built here which hopefully I can plant something here in the future. I, I like that it looks like something's being built, but not, um, hopefully Brewsters. And then of course, here's my little like town's uh, uh, swap meet area. You know, this is where my four star rating comes from because, uh, you know, I drop these items for people to pick up. And even, I wish, like, you know, if you put them on something like on a bench, like these, here's the bench, um, or you know, one of the stalls. I wish if it was lifted off the ground, but still, you know, had the ability to be picked up by anyone, that it wouldn't count it against you. But unfortunately, it does in the star rating. I would love to see that get updated. Um, apologies if that has been updated, but I, I, I doubt it. Um, I'm hoping now. Here's kind of like the little fishing wharf area. This is all stuff from the. Um, seasonal fishing tournaments, which I've only been part of one for the spring. Um, if you haven't been time traveling, which I haven't. Um, and these are all the items I've gotten so far, which is, I don't know, I like it. I like it this little, it just kind of reminds me of, like I said, growing up and I can just imagine the smell of like fish guts and, you know, you know, the ocean and, you know, seagull crap. <laughs> It made up the smell of the mini docks in California, um, where you'd see a lot of people get up super early to go fishing, and uh, I don't know, it just kind of reminded me of that. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping to fill this out with more islands, but this pattern I've used in other parts of town too. I like that little wooden deck pattern. So here we go. I, I live in Chicago now, and we have, um, you know, uh, there's a couple of like actual dinosaur statues outside of 
the Field Museum here, one of the big uh, natural history museums. And I thought I would try to do the same. And of course, it's really easy to collect a ton of fossils in this game. If you, you know, dig up every single one each day, you'll eventually be able to donate a bunch while also finding a spare model for you to use. And uh, when I found out I had the whole T-Rex again, I was like, oh, I gotta, I, I gotta put it there. And sure enough, it fit perfectly. Also, I found this out on the internet. You could actually close the mouth of the T-Rex. It's creepy, right? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up again. I think it looks better that way. Um, anywho, back to the town square. What's up, KK? Um, this is Pudge. He's just a cute little doofus of a bear. Um, he talks to bugs and the floor in his house is dirt. Um, and I love him. Uh, here's my Los Buffalo flag, which is pretty much, I realized, the Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, flag um, so <laughs> that's fun I mean it's Los Angeles and Buffalo you know city of angels and wings um, I thought it looked fine but yeah Los Buffalo um, had to make some some merch which I'm wearing right now uh, so here's kind of a little plaza area where I'll sometimes drop a bunch of items before I like you know before it reopens if I don't like to always sell for less but um, in that little drop box here's Able Sisters which I thought it was really cool to kind of add like the hedges back here and connect them with, you know, this kind of picket fence. I think that that just looks really nice, um, and I, I like the way that turned out. Um, so yeah, I, I put those. You know, I tried to put all the like merchant merchant area, the commercial area, all right next to each other. This plaza, the fountain is. This is like the first thing I built. I was like, I need to get a like. I'm gonna get that fountain DIY, and I'm gonna plant it here. And it's gonna have a cool view of this waterfall. I have it. I'm gonna put a bench there. Um, I'll probably put a bunch of benches around here, um, but um, I just haven't had a chance to, to build them yet. But I really like this area, and I've, it, when I did originally have a bench here, I just loved seeing like animals sit here by the fountain reading. Um, it's just it's just cool. It's, I always love them uh, to see them interacting with things. So again, here's a couple little more parks. This can all change. I could turn this into anything down the road, but. This is kind of a longer park. Put some little lanterns and a bench there. Obviously, I think my flower game... Oh, boom. Um, I'm hoping to up my flower game soon. I do think I have too many flowers. Uh, and I've lost sometimes presents to dropping on a big patch of flowers and having nowhere to drop. Let's see what it is here. Um, oh, great. Iron nuggets. I'm not going to complain. But I'll take it. Uh, so... Moving on kind of to the back part of my island, uh, the, you know, kind of the northwest side, you'll see, this is like where I put turnips, kind of like the little spiked fencing here, like, you know, keep away from my turnips and animals. Um, but at the same time, uh, this is not, this is not always going to be here. I've bought plenty of turnips to fill up, not just the dirt pass, but the in-betweens as well. You know, I'll buy a million or more bells worth of turnips each week and do my best to sell them either on a turnip exchange or in my friends' towns. But lately I've kind of fallen off that and I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that area. This is where my house used to be. I plopped it right here and because I thought it had the beach right next to it. And you'd walk in and you know, I had my little private beach. I built the bonfire, it's one of the first things you can build. And this is where a lot of my first memories of the game started, um, at least with um, New Horizons. And, I've got, you know, Aloha KK playing, and I've got some fun photos of friends who come over and we just hung out around there. Um, anyway, so let's uh, um, pick up this week and let's go over to my campsite. Um, the campsite here is, uh, you've probably seen a lot of people like create like a forested perimeter, and I, I like that, so I copied it. Um, and, uh, I think it looks good. I, this is where a lot more of my four-star rating comes from because I put weeds everywhere. But like, come on, what campsite have you been to? It's perfectly manicured. Um, and uh, this, this area looks so nice at night. When you, you have a tent here, if someone's actually in town, it looks so good. I've put these little dirt paths uh, under to kind of create like a you know, patch of area for the fire pit and you know, the, this, the seating area. Got a lot of really good memories growing up camping with my family, some friends, um, you know, playing card games around, a lantern, um, and a fire. It's just, uh, 
I, it's a big part of uh, my childhood, and like this this game is also a big part of me growing up. So it's fun to kind of connect those two things. It's, it's a big fish, probably a black bass, but let's go for it. Uh, but what you're seeing is this is one of the first little areas I also built where I'm like, like, like let me build an outside thing for animals to enjoy. And it was of course. Uh, I built a stall, and I had that little coffee sign, and now I've got uh, kind of a little outdoor cafe, which I love. Uh, of course, it is an old tire. Gosh dang it. Um, anyway, so I put these patterns down. This is the only place you'll see these patterns, or this particular brick pattern here, but I really like it. I'll probably find other ways to use it, but again, like I think this game to really like fill out your town it's about the small space it's not about creating a massive cafe and, and all that but i think like i don't know just the little little things like this it didn't take much of you know much of the, the the area surrounding it to build um and i like that it's like right next to the water fountain here or the waterfall um, it's just it's quaint i like it um and i don't know any any way you can just kind of fill out some small space. Um, I don't know, it goes a long way with making your island feel much bigger. So here we are in the top area. I, I don't really know what I'm doing here yet. This is kind of like a more forested area over here to the right. Um, I kind of want to build like a little trail back here. I've, I've, I haven't finished building this fence, um, but I want it to kind of you know feel like you're walking through the wilderness and put little things here and there and really build it out. But just, you know. It's all for the future. I haven't had time yet. All, all in due time. Um, you're literally playing the long game in this game. So, anywho, uh, see, I got some weeds growing up here because they're adjacent to the weeds down there. Um, so let me take you to the, the highest point of my island. Gosh, just leaving trash everywhere. Um, this is kind of my Zen Garden area. Anything that has kind of a, like an Eastern vibe, um, the bamboo themes, uh, there's a red Zen bridge I wanted to put up here. So I have one of every single bridge, one of every single, um, one of every single ramp. Uh, but I wanted this bridge to be up here over this, like a little pond um, where I can catch some mountainous river fish. Um, it's so nice and quiet up here at night and with this little fountain trickle, it's a... Uh, I don't know, it's just really peaceful. Um, so I put all the garden rocks I could find. You know, I've got a couple of those out here. Um, and then, you know, anything like bamboo or just zen related is here. So, and I'm sure I'll find more stuff. Uh, and, you know, maybe I'll de terraform it all again and try to create something else. But I wanted a single river system, something that like from top to bottom flowed. I didn't want to like, create too many like offshoots. The only one I really have is the little pond that trickles down into the campsite, but this is from top to bottom. Um, this is the start of, I guess, the rivers in my town. And I like that it has kind of a source. So anyways, um, yeah, that is my Zen Garden. So, I'll take you to the other side of my island now. Um, this is probably my, uh, the thing I'm probably most proud of, I'll show you, is the baseball stadium right there in the, you know, northeast corner of the map. Uh, it takes a, hip, a huge chunk of my island, but I'm, I'm really proud of it. Um, actually, let me take you, yeah, let me take you through the main way. Oh, oh I forgot to tell you or show you. This is the, uh, little orchard. It's right here next to the neighborhood, right when you walk down. Of course, there's, uh, I put a little um, ride chair, bike path, biking area, bikes and scooters. Again, I had a little pocket there. And I, I you know, thought I'd fill it in with something like that. Uh, but here I put, you know, we got every fruit except for the coconuts, um, which I guess I could have put with sand. Hmm. Uh, I just found that out like a month, a month ago, a few weeks ago, that if you just put down some sand, could grow some palm trees but over here is my um like little farmer's market so you know you've got things to take here that aren't maybe necessarily represented over in the other part of my little swap meet and ah, i just think it looks really nice the barrels and the cardboard boxes and the stalls um you can pick up the fruit i just it's a cool area this is that same pattern i used for the little fishing wharf area but um i like it a lot 
and for now it's gonna stay. All right, so um, let's see. I guess we'll go over to uh, the baseball stadium now. Um, yeah. All right, so the baseball stadium. Ta-da! Welcome to Los Buffalo Stadium. Uh, I tried to kind of create a little entrance area. That's a fishnet on that stall. I gotta move that and change it to this little bunting that I tried to create. It's not great looking, but you know, the baseball bunting for opening day. Uh, that looks cool. Um, this is kind of the back part of like the stadium. You know, like stadiums have like outdoor areas outside of the perimeter. I'm gonna try to create something here, but for now I put that little, what I think is Tom Nook's own baseball team, given the TN that looks like the New York logo but here we are we got little concessions and benches uh like um park benches or public benches that kind of look like perfect little stadium seats um and i love this little like area for you know the press box and the announcers i have a little ladder i placed there but uh I, yeah i'd have to pick it up just to you know, to use the tool but uh it's all up there and yeah you got concessions here and then of course yeah, like I said, I grew up in L.A. I used to go to a lot of Dodger games at Dodger Stadium. Um, and there's always that big 76 ball. And, of course, the bleacher seats aren't connected to the rest of the stadium. If you're out in the left or right field pavilions, like, it, you were stuck out there. I mean, that's where you were. You didn't get to, like, walk around the whole stadium. And the benches were benches. Um, and this reminded me of that. So I tried to create some different benches and chairs. Um, and then, of course, that 76 ball reminded me of this light for the um, gas station that you can get from Pocket Camp. So, um, yeah, I, I put that there. I thought it worked perfectly. Those are actually um, some lecture hall chairs that I thought worked well as stadium seats too. So, the baseball stadium. Um, this is why. So, I'll, I'll take you kind of out to the field here. These are all these are patterns I created. Um, it's hard to, it was hard to kind of figure it out. I've had many iterations, but God, I wish you could. This is what I mean. Like I wish you could like throw a ball around or have some kind of physics like built into the game where you can kick a ball or something. And it would just be fun to see people kind of create their own little games together. Um, they got like a dodgeball court or something. But Anyways, this is outside my stadium. This is kind of the back area. Um, this is where my you know, red shows up, the private beach. This is one of the first areas I dropped like some items because I thought, oh, I'll put a little campfire and chair and lantern out here and had the radio playing. Um, this is before the red update. Um, and it, it's just even cooler now when like red shows up. It looks like he set that stuff up. So this is the beach. I haven't really done much in this area. Um, this is where the lighthouse is. I don't know what I'm doing here. I've seen people put their lighthouse up kind of on a cliff and drop some water. Um, you know, like in, have some little waterfalls coming off it. Oh, there's another, another balloon. So this is what I mean, right? Like I have the golden, the golden uh, slingshot here. And I, like I've found enough things every day, but I feel like I still get stuff I always have. Um, so let's see, what's this? It's a mini cactus set. Yep, I have this. So, um, I don't know. I feel like even though I'm getting a lot of that stuff, I still end up finding the same things I have. Even when I walk into the store and pick up a DIY, like it's, it's, it just always seems to be things I already have, which makes progressing item-wise in the game a little more difficult. But anywho, that is... Los Buffalo. Um, it's definitely still a work in progress, but obviously I've poured a lot of time into the game, and I mean it, it shows aesthetically. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you got some ideas from this island uh, experience, and uh, yeah, I appreciate you being with me. Um, until then, this has been another Nintendo podcast. I'm Matt Schultz, and uh, I will see you all in the next AMP plays or our next episode. All right, have a good one. Oh, 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 oh,